What is up? My name is Guy. Today we're going to be talking about five absolutely iconic places in Los Angeles to take photos and videos. But before we get into it, I wanted to give you a brief overview of what photos I'm going to be sharing with you. Back in May of 2020, my client, Ivan Estrada, a luxury real estate agent in the city of Los Angeles, gave me a ring and said, hey, I got this idea where I want to take a desk around to all the iconic spots in LA and have the series be something along the lines of Los Angeles being my office. Well, the pictures came out absolutely banging and I wanted to figure out a way that I would be able to not only share these iconic locations for you to go take photos and videos, but but also be able to showcase a little bit of what we captured on these two days. So I have a bunch of awesome behind the scenes footage from our buddy Max, who is on the shoot uh, handling the video portion. Let's get right into it. Everyone wants the palm tree lined street photo in Los Angeles, right? So let's start off with a bang with Beverly Hills right in the number one spot. My personal favorite strip to get this on is Bedford Drive. There are a couple streets in the Beverly Hills area where you can get these photos, but I always found Bedford to be the best. There are also a couple other locations around LA where you can get this, Hollywood, uh, the South Central Pico area. I believe there is an area in Santa Monica where you can get these too. However, I always found Beverly Hills to be the easiest. A few helpful tips. Number one, street parking, super easy to find. Number two, as far as how you shoot it, I would recommend a wider lens so you could get the palm trees, but obviously do whatever you want. You have the artistic license. And if you're just out there busting some bangers with your phone, those are gonna be great too. at the number two spot is LACMA. And what's cool about LACMA is they have an open to the public art installation that is arguably the most Instagrammable spot in Los Angeles. If you've never been to LA or you are researching on where to take pictures in LA, this spot pops up on everybody's list because it's awesome. Now, when we went, it was dead because number one, you weren't allowed to go within the lights. And number two, it was like four o'clock in the morning and it was the first location that we went to. So when you go, expect that it's probably going to be busier and expect that there's going to be people walking in between the lights. However, as far as tips to get the best shot, experiment. You're going to want to go into the lights and you're going to want to get a shot outside of the lights. Now, another tip is if you stand in front of the lights, and then get a little bit lower, you can see the top of the lights and palm trees in the back. So don't forget to get that photo. On to number three, the Walt Disney Concert Hall, which is located in downtown Los Angeles. We approach a spot a little bit differently than how it's typically approached. We wanted to make sure that you could see the concert hall behind Ivan. So that's what we did. We set up on that front corner and made sure we had the concert hall in the back. A lot of people go here to shoot portraits and editorial or fashion style photographs, and they use the side of the building to kind of like introduce soft light into the photo, an extra fill on the shadow side and stuff like that. So make sure you experiment. And if you do end up going there, tag me in your photo. There's so many different ways that you can shoot here. And it's always so inspiring to see the creative vision that other photographers have. The number four location is Lower Grand. This area is incredibly popular for people into the car scene. It's not a high traffic area, so you can get some cool photos of whatever you wanna capture. As far as tips go, during the day, there's cool light that shines through, but if you go at night, which is when we went, you kinda get a little bit of a moodier of a shot. And as far as shooting, if you get low, you can kinda see the double overpass, which is more or less why people go there. 
My last and final recommendation is just down the street from Lower Grand, and it is the Second Street Tunnel. This is my favorite location, I think, in Los Angeles. And the reason that I like it is because it's not really that popular to go to, especially with portrait style photographs, unless you try and do more of a moody style. When we approached it, I wanted to have more of a moody look. It's great because of that just long, straight leading line with the lights out at the top. However, it is a very difficult location to shoot at because it is 100% a high traffic area. If you want to capture some good photos and not be interrupted too often, it's probably to shoot it in the middle of the night on a Sunday. Other than that, there's plenty of parking because it's downtown LA and there's a bunch of lots and stuff. I would not suggest doing it during the day and I would not suggest doing it in the evening evening either. This is a middle of the night type of location. Now, a couple honorable mentions. Chinatown is a great spot. It's got the hanging lanterns and stuff like that. However, just be mindful of the time that you're going and the gear that you're bringing. If you just have a cell phone, you're probably good. But if you have a tripod set up, just be super careful because they will kick you out. The second honorable mention is downtown as well. And it is in front of the Broad Museum. We had a strobe set up and we had to just snap a couple pictures really quickly because the security guard came out and was telling us to stop. The third honorable mention location is Rodeo Drive. If you're in Los Angeles just visiting, you're gonna be going down Rodeo. There's gonna be some cool cars you're gonna see, and there's also some other shops like with these cobblestone streets and stuff like that. So feel free to take a couple pictures down there. Uh, we got this shot right in the middle of the road. You know, this is an iconic location specifically for Ivan because of the show Selling Sunset. A lot of people know the show and a lot of people know the area. And Sunset Plaza is cool. We got Mel's Diner, Drive-In, whatever it's called, uh, and a couple other famous stores and stuff down the street. If you have any additional locations that you want to share for anyone else that's watched this video, feel free to comment. And please, on social media, if you went to any of these locations and you found them through this video, tag me. I would love to see the photo that you took. I'm super supportive of my community and it's a growing community. So if you want to like and subscribe, that would also help a lot. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.